Hello, Jerry Brimacombe here from Light Lever Systems. I'm going to show you a quick overview of permissions. And let's take a look at the permissions for this site. So I'm going to go up to my gear here and go into Site Settings. And under Site Settings, the main thing to look at right here is Site Permissions. There's people and groups there as well, but let's look at Site Permissions. And what this does is say, for this site, it gives me right away a glance of who can do what to this site. So we have some default groups here that this is called the testbed site. There's testbed members that can contribute. There are testbed owners that have full control. And you have testbed visitors that can read only. Now if I click on these groups, I'll be able to see the membership. So I'm the only member in this site. Let me just go back and the owners that have full control that's also just me pretty boring huh so if the first thing is if we want to add more members to the site we can do it right here we just go into click on test bed members and then we can add new members here add users so you can put your usernames in here and if you want to send them an email it's down here so let's take a look at permission inheritance. Here we see permission inheritance shown graphically. So you have a hierarchy of sites, a parent site, some child sites, and then in, in this child site A we have a list and that list has items. We have a library and that library has folders and the folder has documents. The typical hierarchy of a simple simple site. And with inherited permissions that means you set the permissions at the top level and the child sites automatically get the same permissions. So the default is to inherit permissions down the tree and that's what's easiest to manage. If you need to set unique permissions, for example, this library is full of financial documents that not everybody in the company can see, then you set unique permissions on that library. So unique permissions which breaks the inheritance here. So the, this library is no longer inheriting permissions from his parent, but now below the library, these folders and documents inherit permissions from this library now. So things will inherit as far up as the tree as they need to until they find that inheritance is broken. So on this site, the Slightly Versus Systems testbed site, we have a document library. Let's go into that document library and take a look at the permissions here. In the Library tab, we have site, site Settings. We also have a Permissions link here. So who's this shared with? I prefer to go into the Advanced view. And now in the Advanced view, I can see this is inherited from its parent. If I want to stop inheriting permissions and create unique permissions for this document library, I click Stop Inheriting Permissions here. I do get a warning that you're going to create unique permissions in this document library. And yes, this is requiring more administrative overhead. So I said, OK. Now I can do things here. Say, you know what, for this document library, the visitors don't have any permissions at all. So it warns me that I'm removing those permissions for testbed visitors. OK. So now when I look at who can do what to what with this document library that I'm looking at, Members have contribute, owners have full control, and nobody else has access. Now this same approach applies to folders. So let me go back to the document library. Notice we've got some folders in here. So if I click on the ellipsis, and the ellipsis again, you see that one of the options is shared with. So if I click on shared with, and again, I like to see the advanced view. And one of the reasons I like to see the advanced view is that it shows me this, is it inherited or unique, right here at the top. So now this folder is inheriting permissions from its parent, which is the document library. And again, I could stop inheriting permissions if this folder needs unique permissions. And of course, we're going to go one step farther down. Same idea, if I open up an actual document here, not open it, but take a look at the sharing of this document. 
go into the advanced view again. The document inherits permissions from its parent. And again, I can stop inheriting permissions here. Okay, now let's create a new group and uh, apply permissions that way. So let's say we have a group of document editors that we want to add to this site. So I can go up into the gear here and you can go through site settings or directly into shared with here and into advanced and in this advanced permissions and this is the first screen I showed you you can create a group. Now I'm going to call this group testbed document editors. You can put a description in here. Notice the group owner is defaulted to me. What I recommend is that you change this to your administrators group so that it's not just one person but a group of people that own this. And what it means is down here who can edit the membership is only the group owners can edit the membership. So let's make sure that that's set to a group. And that's a common mistake that will trip you up if you don't set that. Okay, so now here we can set permissions for this group. I'm just going to leave those blank for now. We're just creating the group and not applying any permissions to it. Now let's take a look at uh, using that group. So if I go into my permission settings, shared with, and advanced again. So I'll see here that I have not given that testbed document editors any access to this top level site. If I go into documents and look at my permissions for the document library, it's so over here permissions or through library settings, and uh, let's go in, into advanced again. Notice uh, this group does not have access. So now we're going to grant permissions and here we can put in the group name testbed doc editors and I'm not going to send an email invitation but I'm going to say that they have the ability to contribute here and click share. So now in my document library testbed doc editors have contribute permissions. And to prove that this is unique, let's go back to the top level site here and check our permissions in advanced. And at the top level, we've still got members, owners, and visitors. And in the document folders, we can check permissions there as well. And the folders inherit permissions from its parent, so there's testbed doc editors have contributed. So that's the basics of permission. Thank you very much. This is Jerry Brimacombe signing off.